What's up gamers, Zfaros here with a lineup update for Madden Ultimate Team. Going to give you some great budget players and also talk about some of the higher end guys you're going to start to see in Ultimate Team. Now we haven't pulled a golden ticket ourselves, but we were able to borrow some from JazzFan35. He hooked it up and as Mean Joe Green was the best defensive player we had, golden ticket JJ Watt has eclipsed him. The three acceleration from 97 to 100 really makes the difference. Now Bruce Smith still balling at the right end position. He is huge because he sniffs out screen passes before they even happen. For those of you guys on a budget, 94 Aaron Donald's going to get it done. Getting through the middle, great acceleration. 92 Vince Wilfork, great strength, great run stuffer. So don't sleep on them. But if you can get that 93 Team of the Week Watt, 96 Most Feared Watt, 99 Watt, or the Golden Ticket Watt, they're going to be a great option too. Now in the secondary, we do think Night Train Lane is the best overall player in there. The hit power, the height, everything kind of mixes together and meshes, and the defense comes together when he's in the lineup. A Golden Ticket Pat Pete, he makes some plays, great speed, but... For overall, for the coin, you can get a little bit better value. The Charles Woodson was rough in his first couple games, but he's really recovered and become a reliable option for our team. Six foot one. Here you see the Pat Pete go back, ultimately drops the pick, but do your players that you spend your most coin on make those play recognition plays? Do they drop back from the flat to cover a route behind them, save you a touchdown? Those are the players that I'm looking for when I test these high level guys out. Uh, Mario Williams. A great backup on the defensive line or the Jadavian Clowney Combine Warrior. Now, we're going to have some more budget players recommended for you at the end of this video. As we move to the secondary, you'll see Calvin Johnson here and Taylor Mays. Now, we'll talk more about their budget versions, but if you had to make me choose between one of these two golden tickets, I would take Taylor Mays over the Calvin Johnson. I know that's a little crazy, but you only lose one inch of height. You have 102 hit power, which to me... Actually, you can feel the 102 hit power. Taylor Mays has forced multiple fumbles in uh, the games that I've utilized him for. While Calvin overall is a bit taller, and you'd think he has better catch, this Taylor Mays has, can generally make some pretty nice plays for your defense. Uh, we also have tested out this 24-hour read, 5'11", which is a little tough, but the 100 hit power is there. He gets hit power animations, hasn't forced a fumble yet, but overall, we're excited to uh, utilize his play rec and let him just kind of roam free, and then we use our Taylor Mays. We think that's going to be the best setup as uh, we're going to be sending back that Calvin Johnson golden ticket soon to Jazz Fan once again. Huge appreciation. Now, Patty Cake Willis is in the middle of the defense here. You can see comes as advertised with the hit sticks a plenty. Of course, Jack Ham has been a popular player that I've seen at the outside linebacker position all year. Um, Jamie Collins kind of matches up nicely against him. His zone coverage is a little bit better, but Ham has a little better uh, pursuit. So I recommend Collins kind of as a, a rusher off the edge, some strength. Maybe if you, can't, if you want to go up from the 96 Suggs, you get Jamie Collins into the lineup. So Khalil Mack, also a great option if you can't afford the Jack Ham. And Elvis Dumerville, Team of the Year, can kind of play either spot, although he's not as strong in the run game. He's more of a rusher slash drop and coverage type of player. Uh, overall, though, the 96 uh, Suggs at right outside linebacker is great. Now, uh, for your backups, Clay Matthews and Luke Keekley, you still want these guys on your team because look at the special teams hit stick right there. And, of course, Keekley is the best CPU uh, middle linebacker in the game he's great on special teams too so make sure to keep those guys in your backup spots now these are the base versions 85 free safety calvin in the combine maze if you don't have the golden tickets don't worry these two guys get it done i don't recommend them on the field at the same time because they kind of need to be user controlled to have the most uh, efficiency but you can play either guy at free safety strong safety if you use her um, once again most people like the calvin i'm a maze guy he has low catch but he catches everything from me as far as the budget CBs go, 93 Champ Bailey, 94 Richard Sherman at my one and my two. Those are going to be the guys that I'm going to go to battle with no matter what. At the end of the day, you know, 94 Mike Evans, he might catch a couple on you. But generally, 94 Sherman's either going to make the greatest play in the world or the worst play in the world. Champ Bailey, he's going to generally make a solid play 80-85% of the time. Very consistent. It doesn't make as many spectacular picks as Sherman, but he is overall more consistent, tends to get some animations. Chris Harris has been usurped, I don't even think that's a word, in the lineup by D'Angelo Hall. But um, if you can't afford the Hall, the Harris is pretty decent. 
and I think everyone in their lineup should have um, an 86 Brandon Browner because he brings the height to the table that if anyone's kind of trying to go after you at a specific spot, maybe they've got Levine Toy Lolo, six foot eight tight end sleeper you just heard about, you put him out on the defense. So uh, hopefully you guys can join us over on twitch.tv slash Madden Tips for some mutt lunch to see these guys in action once again. Saints defensive playbook, lock up.